Hey there, welcome back to eFishing. I'm Rodney, and today we're about ready to hook this boat up here. And we're going to the lake. We're going to go fish jerk bait today. We're in the middle of December, and the water temperature's starting to get down there in the low 50s, maybe in the high 40s too. So that's getting in the right time to start throwing jerk baits, at least for me. Seems like that's when they start working really well, and then it'll work all the way through till the spring and the water starts warming back up. It's throwing a jerk bait. <clears throat> now, before we head out there, let's talk a little bit about colors and styles of jerk baits and things like that, and the rod and reel and line and stuff that I like to use on it. But um, so right here, I've got a few of the jerk baits that I like to throw out here. Some of these are my favorites. Um, I like to throw these Rapala Shatter Wraps. Uh, I like to throw these Strike King uh, KVD Jerk Baits. And I also like to throw these uh, Mega Bass Jerk Baits too. They, uh, they've got a real good action and whatnot. But um, Jerk Baits are one of those things. Any of these Jerk Baits will work at any time. It's, they've all got a little different action and wobble and wiggle and shimmy to them. And sometimes, you know, you'll think, hey, I can catch them on this mega bass, but they won't hit that. They'll want, want the Rapala jerk bait or vice versa, or they'll want the Strike King jerk bait. Sometimes, uh, you know, the, the Strike King's got a little, little bigger body. It's got a little, you know, it's got a little different roll to it. So that they all have a different thing that they have to them so that, you know, get you a good collection of them out there. But let's talk about colors. And I guess one thing you'll notice, all of these jerk baits kind of look like a shad or a minnow. And there's a reason to that. That's because that's what we're trying to imitate is a shad or a minnow out there. We're not trying to imitate a crawdad or a bluegill, or at least I'm not when I'm throwing it jerk bait maybe other people are but um they all work you know and they've all got all got their places and you know times to do them but so let's talk about the colors um if you don't know what to throw something like this white it's got a silver sides and a white back that's if you don't have any jerk baits go out and buy something like this 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 will work just about anywhere under about any conditions clear water stained water it, it's that that's a good go-to uh, but as far as the colors go let's just kind of go down the line all of these here are kind of you know clear to translucent and this one's got a blue back and a little bit orange on the belly but you know you can see those ball bearings in there so this is kind of a translucent bait so you know if you try to throw this in real stained water or muddy water that thing's just going to disappear on you same way with this strike king it's real translucent you know that's a real good clear you know if you got real clear water that's a good one something along those lines to throw now if you're getting into stained water you're going to pick up something or even, you know, slightly muddy water. This right here will work. It's it's a solid colored paint job on it. It's going to show up. That white is going to be visible in that muddy water. Same way without this, about this one. You know, it's not quite as bright as that other one, but it's got a little bit of chartreuse on the tail of it. You know, that's a good stained water. You know, if your water's stained, don't get the translucent baits. Get something that's painted like these that you can that you can um, that'll show up and silhouette in the water and another thing is if you got some stained water something a little chartreuse in it like this one's got a chartreuse belly this uh, Rapala shatter wrap that's a you know that that's a good one if it's stained and then this is also good if it's clear and you're chasing smallmouth. Same way with this one. It's got a chartreuse belly, blue back. That's a good, good. These two right here are really good smallmouth colors. Now, one other thing about these jerk baits you'll notice, we'll go back over to these Rapalas. 
is the lips on these things. Some of them have these real shallow lips and some of them have these, you know, a larger lip, lip on them. And that helps them get down, you know, this one will probably go down four or five foot where this one will probably get down there seven to eight, nine foot, something like that. So if you're seeing fish suspended, you know, on down deeper in the water column, you want to pick up a jerk bait that's got a little bit of lip because sometimes it'll get you a little, you know, a few extra feet on your depth. They'll come up and get it where, you know, they may not come up and get that just because of that extra foot or two. So that's basically some of the colors I like to throw. They all work. And if one's not working, I'll pick another one up, put it on, put like a Strike King on, then go to a Mega Bass or the Rapala or, you know, there's Lucky Craft makes a good jerk bait, and I've got a few of them, but I didn't get any of them out. So, you know, just get yourself a good selection of jerk baits and go out there and uh, give it a try. Now, as far as rod and reels go, I've settled in on this cash and rod and it's their six nine jerk bait rod and it's got a fast action to it for me that fast action helps snap the line when you're doing that so let's go on to the lake and see what we can do we'll talk about fishing them and how to fish them and where to fish them and whatnot and hopefully catch a few we'll see y'all out on the lake in a little bit we're out So for this winter time, dirt baiting. I believe what works best is if you got a channel that swings in close to a bank and you got deep water. So we're sitting down here in about 20. And there's a little lip up there and it, it goes up to about 8 to 10 and then on up to the bank. And I think those fish 
hanging right on that little lip. And that last one was in there under in that tree there. But that might be something I might try. Keep that in mind. But the jerk bait we're throwing is this uh, Rapala. So if y'all can see it there. Rapala. Shadow wrap. And it's the slow sinking variety, it says. And this is. I don't know what the color is, but I'll look it up and see if I can't remember to put it in the video. But all we're doing is pretty classic wintertime jerkbait fishing. Where you just give it a couple of jerks and let it set. And both of them fish have just come up and grabbed it pretty aggressively. So We'll see. There's another fog right there. Let's see if there's another one on it. So it's just a twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause, pause, twitch, twitch. You know, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. If y'all don't know that by now, then. Well, you just learned something new about me today. It, it's hard to fish and talk. At least it is for me. Well, let's try this again. So we've got twitch, 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 pause, twitch, 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 pause. Now, when you twitch this thing, see how they're slack in the line? Let me adjust the camera a little bit. See how there's slack in it? You want to just pull the slack. You don't want to be tight and into it. You want to have slack in your line. You just pull on the slack. So we're coming up to another good spot here. This uh, little point here, there could be a good one right here. So let's see what we can find. Right there he is. Look at that. Right on cue. Another decent little fish. How about that? Look at there, he's white too. Now this fish, he's pretty. Starting to get all that black spots on him for the winter time. I'll show you what I mean. So if you look here, this fish is starting to get these this black in here. Now, uh oh, let me catch a boat. You ain't got spot lock. You gotta pay attention. All right, so back to this fish. All right, this fish, he's getting these black spots starting to express on him. Now there's nothing wrong with him. On fish, when I start getting that black, that's just, I'm gonna let him go and I'm gonna tell you about the black spots. All right. See if you can hear me. This wind's going pretty good, but those black spots on fish that happens in the winter time, and it's not there's nothing wrong with the fish. It's just an expression of the melanophores on the skin of the fish. Just the way they so the way they contract and expand and the way they express themselves is sometimes dependent on temperature. So some of those cells they'll start looking black when it gets cold. Other times it might look green or white or whatever that you normally see in the summertime and spring. But uh, anyways, that's a little fun tidbit there for you today. We're going back to fishing. Y'all hang on.
There's another one, boys and girls. Yeah. Here's what you're looking for. You're looking for bait. And there's a good example of it. Let's get back to fishing. Hey there, it's Rodney for me fishing. It's about the end of the day. Um, we've caught a few fish today. Caught them on a jerk bait. This sucker right here. This uh, Rapala Shad Rat or Shadow Rat. Um, I don't know what the color is, but it's kind of white with a chartreuse belly. Throwing it on a cashing uh, 6'9 jerkbait rod with some 12 pound P line on it. Other than that, it's been uh, pretty consistent catching a few today, so it ain't been bad. Anyways, um, hope y'all learned a little bit about uh, late fall, early winter time jerkbait fishing. Uh, just to recap, it's uh, middle of December, it's about 60 today, it's a big cold front coming through tomorrow, and the temperature's going to drop down into the 30s and probably might snow a little bit next week. But anyway, we got the afternoon, we was able to come out catch a few, uh, can't complain. Uh, the water was, you know, probably about a foot, foot and a half visibility, around 50 degrees range from 49 to 51 today in different places so uh, that jerk bait really worked pretty well anyways if you uh like the video give it a thumbs up if you all want to subscribe please do especially if you like to learn a little bit about fishing that's what we're here for so that you can stay up to date on when we put videos out there and uh get all the latest content we got anyways again thanks for stopping by i'm rodney with e-fishing We'll see y'all next time. We're out.